Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. How about we go over some quick tips for navigating Cinema 4D quickly and efficiently. I think I have five of them, so let's jump in and learn some things quick. All right, hopefully you don't know some of these. If we have an object in Cinema 4D and you wanna move it, of course you can move it like this or go down in here and move it. But a lot of people don't know that you can actually just use your arrow keys, left and right, up and down, you can move them. And this is gonna be increments of five centimeters each. And if you hit R for rotate, you can also rotate them which is pretty cool. So I actually find myself using this quite a bit for nudging objects around your scene. All right, let's go for another quick tip here. This one's gonna be about lighting. Let's add a spotlight. And if you wanna light this cube, it can take a little bit of time to get the spotlight sorted out, kind of figure out where that cube is. A really fast way of doing that is go to cameras, and use camera and selected object as camera. And whatever you have selected, once you click this, it will look through it like it's a camera. And so where's that cube? We still can't find it, right? Well, super easy, just click on that cube and hit S and that will frame it up. And just like that, our spotlight is pointing right at the cube. So now we can go to cameras and go back to default camera. And if we look at it, you can see that that spotlight is now pointing right at it. If we wanna put one on the other side, pretty easy, just copy and paste it. Go to cameras, use camera, select it object as camera. We can just pivot this guy to the other side. Maybe want to come from a different angle a little bit. Then we can go to default camera. And now we have our spotlight on that side. So when you're setting up your three point lighting, that's a really handy way to go. All right, let's do another quick tip. In case you didn't know, if you want to duplicate an object, a lot of people just go copy paste and then kind of move it where they want it. Copy paste or they'll grab this and move it down. Um, you can actually just grab an object, hold control down and drag it and it's gonna make a new copy. So it's a great way of populating your scene. Just hold control down and click and drag. And there you go, you got a copy of it. For our fourth tip, let's talk about resetting PSR. A lot of times you'll have an object and you want it to go right into the world center. So there's a couple of really fast ways to do this. Um, the way that I used to do it was if you hold shift C and type in reset, there's a command called reset transform. And if you put that up in your dock, you can just click it and it will put that object right in the center. It will reset everything, go to zero and put it right in the middle. Another thing that might be handy is let's say we take this cube over here and we want it to be in the exact same spot as this cube. Well, you can just take it, nest it inside, hit your reset transform, and it will take on the parameters of whatever the parent is. So let's click that and bam, it goes right to that spot. So super easy. All right, so that's reset. Um, there's actually a shortcut for it, which is great too. So let's click on this one. Here it is, are you ready? Alt zero, hit alt zero, bam, reset your PSR, just like that. And if we wanna take this cube and put it into this one, we can also click it, hit alt zero, just like that, it's right there. All right, you want another cool little sub tip? You see these little arrows here, the left arrow and the right arrow? If you wanna reset any parameter, including in deformers or anything in Cinema 4D, just hover over that little arrow and right click on it. And it will reset that parameter to whatever the default is. Just hover over the arrow, hit right click, that's it, that's all you gotta do. So instead of going to your parameter and going to find reset to default, you literally just right click over that arrow. So I find myself using that one all the time. All right, tip number five, and most of you know this one, but it's a great reminder. If we wanna look at our view here from the four different views, you can hit this button up here and it will show you your four views, top, right, front. And then if you wanna frame up one of these guys, you can uh, go to this one, frame it up, do some work over here, go back to our four view button, and then maybe you wanna do some over here. There's actually shortcuts for this and you should really get used to using them. Just use your F keys, F1, two, three, four, and five, F1, will give you your main one, then F2, F3, F4, and then F5 will give you the four view. So make sure you just remember to use all those F keys. That's gonna save you a ton of time. So those are five quick tips. Those are workflow tips that if you just start implementing them, you're gonna slowly add up some time saved. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you do, go ahead and leave a comment and I will create some more of these quick tip videos. All right, thanks for checking out Pixlab. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.